Hi, Brad Ward here. We spilled out into the warehouse again. That doesn't happen every time. I think it happened last sale and it's happened this sale too. This time uh, for a John Deere, this is for the stuff that's coming in. Uh, we'll talk about in a minute for what the dates and whatever. Uh, this is the John Deere LT180 riding mower. Uh, it came from a little estate in Sturgeon here that uh, I fired it up and drove it onto the trailer myself. I fired right first piston up. There's a little mini chopper down here, very cool with the flame paint, very well described in the catalog. I'm pretty sure it's street legal, it's got a serial number, it's got a place for a license plate, signal lights, etc. Um, also from the same home is this pontoon boat, uh, FC Cougar it's marked on the side here, we just blew up the pontoons today. Little battery powered unit and uh, uh, hang around and we're going to show you the rest of the sale right now. Hi, Brad Ward with Ward's Auctions, Edmonton, Alberta. The extent of my cue cards is, uh, is always just the date and time. Sunday, June 12th, 2016 is uh, day one, starting at 11 o'clock in the morning. We open at 10. Uh, Monday, June 13th, open the doors at 4 o'clock, starting at uh, sales starts at 6 o'clock. Preview the whole thing from Friday, uh, on Friday, June 10th, 2016, from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock. We'll go to lot. Lot 1 to 350 on the Sunday, and we will do lots 351 up to 700. There's some missing, and there's a few A's, and people are always a little bit confused about that, but that's just the way it is. Maybe I'll just carry this note with me because I might need it. Um, roughly 660 some lots in the sale, so just a nice, comfortable size. The room is jam packed full though, because we have a lot of big stuff. Uh, I'm going to just try to breeze through it very quickly. Victorian inlaid furniture, uh, some nice great watercolor, not watercolors, but uh, hand colored photographs, uh, most of, several mescals and other ones as well. Of course, he did the blue nose for the dime. This honking piece of furniture here, as big as you can see it is, all comes apart, folds down, fits in your wallet practically so you can get it moved. At the back of the room over there is actually a piece that originally sits on top of this and they repurposed it and actually made a base for it because it just wouldn't fit in their home. Well, we'll touch on that later on. This is from the same home as well. A couple of pieces, top and bottom, so you can get it in and out of your house. Stuff off camera is a, uh, a piano stool, adjustable piano stool. There's musical instruments, modern furniture here, modern bookcases back here, Victorian crank table. Right now, there's the large leaf is in it. We do have the crank right here. That's a bit of an inside joke because lots of times the crank is missing. Uh, this one here, this is Royal Worcester Gold Chantilly on a china table set. There's some other table sets in the sale as well. Nice little vitrine, semi-contemporary piece but nice quality. Put your, uh, your trinkets in there and then you can display them in the middle of the room. This sleigh is very cool, definitely handmade obviously. Uh, hand, hand hammered bronze and copper, nail heads and decoration whatever. Probably Eastern Canadian, Quebec, or Ontario. Heavy as a house. I don't want to be the guy that has to drag this thing back up the hill after you've gone sledding. You can see artwork back here. You can see oriental platters, large wall plaques back here. American walnut furniture. There's quite a bit of mid-century modern teak in the sale. There's planters down here. You can't see them. They're off camera. Patio set here. Stacking bookcase. This is a five section. I think there's another a four section at the back of the room. Again, very nice, always very popular. Neat dining room set, very funky. I'm not sure how we cataloged it or described it, but it's kind of neat. There's some musical, uh, well, there's musical instruments, but there's some scientific instruments in the sale as well. Uh, so stuff in cases there. Look at this. I don't know if it's a one-tenth or whatever it is, but that is an adorable little violin. And uh, to go along with the adorable little violin is the little accordion. So you can have a little miniature band at the grandkids' house. Curio cabinets. Take a look at this, this screen here. This is just a two-panel screen, but very large panels, like two feet wide or something like that. All bone, applied bone to make figures on there, hand-painted, original finish, fantastic as well. Neat radios, a lot of stuff in excellent, excellent condition in this sale. If you were looking at the sale on the website a week ago even, you're gonna say, well, Geez, they were, you know, they're really slow getting stuff together. We were. I was out of town, people are doing stuff, it's summertime. This is literally, we're filming right now, less than 24 hours away from the viewing starting, and we just finished setting up the room. So, it's been kind of a crazy week around here. These are French in the spelters, Victorian vanity mirror there. There's a sextant over here, I gotta show you this fan. 
Westinghouse brass blades, brass impellers. It does the oscillation. You can see how it gets that tag in there. You can stick your feet. You can actually stick your whole head in there practically. This is uh, back when we we didn't have all the safety rules that we do today, so we sort of just uh, weeded out kind of the the lower end of the gene pool with things like this, things like that, and lawn darts just to thin out the herd a little bit. Not allowed to do that anymore, though. I don't even think you're allowed to say that out loud. Some more modern furniture. There's a number five bear trap over there. Sewing machines. Look at this roll top desk over here. I'm not sure if you can get in here with the camera, but look at all the, all the holes. There's our drawers, pigeonholes, and, and drawers in there. Just gorgeous. S curved desk. Not too many carpets in the sale, but there's a few smaller ones. These airplanes, these are quite expensive. When you come to the sale, don't be afraid to look at some price tags, because it seems to me I saw like a $300 price tag on one of these. There's four in a lot there. There's a Sterling flatware. Inside the Sterling cabinet over there, we've got Sterling. This is a little Sterling box. Like, how adorable is that? Little Four little ring slots and some more bits and bobs there. Some, uh, there's a Citizen Eco, um, uh, Eco Drive watch. I think there's two of those in the sale. Some nice soap stones. Again, I, just a reminder that we didn't have these on the website a week ago. Just a little bit uh, tardy getting things done. Hope everybody's enjoying the summer though. Decor, micro, or a telescope, what do you call it? For looking at the stars. Down here, might be off camera, uh, isn't now. Walesco fire engine. I don't think it's ever been fired. Steam driven fire engine. And I believe there's an $800 receipt to go along with that because the original packaging is here and they're not cheap and I don't think it's ever been fired. Inside the cabinet, miniature sewing machines, little hand crank sewing machines, uh, carriage clocks, mercury drive or mercury weight clocks here, more soap stones, more instruments, Waterford Crystal, the um, Waterford Crystal clock it, with the original packaging would make a fantastic gift. This is a Cartier, and I know the poor cameraman is all over the place, a Cartier travel clock. It's brand new. It's brand new. It's got all the packaging to go along with it, original paperwork that would have come with it, etc. Very neat piece, so do not miss out on that one when you are viewing. Clock down here, it's kind of a skeleton style with a fusee movement. Modern or semi-modern lighted panel lamps, there's three or four in the sale. This is gorgeous here. Victorian cylinder desk, right up that tablet there. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful piece. Mid-century modern, a few pieces, uh, 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 furniture-wise, and then there's some some lamps or uh, yeah, lamps. At least that one. I'm not sure if there's other ones. Drum tables, little tiny fire screen here, parlor set, uh, orrery or planetarium. More of that big furniture over here. Check out these boats, handmade. Uh, wooden boats, price tag, I think there's a price tag, this is the, uh, like it was never out of the box on display, I was going to say never used, well you don't really use a piece like this, you just display it. it was, I think there was a four or five hundred dollar price tag on this one, probably a seven or eight on that one, and it, they were really never out of the box, you can tell. Slate clocks, there's at least two or three in the sale, this one is, I don't want to say the one of the nicer ones, because I think that's open to interpretation, depends on who you are. It's certainly a very impressive piece though. I can't actually play that, I probably just proved it, but there's a banjo there. A uh, big dining room set, which we've probably sold in, in more than one lot instead of putting it all together. So this is probably table and chairs and then cabinet, etc. Uh, Minton tableware, pretty large set, all being sold as one. Some antique artwork back there on the wall. This is kind of fun, not necessarily, well probably has a huge retail value. Uh, this is the Munsters. These all light up actually, we didn't put the lights in them, but they all light up. We've all seen those Christmas ones, well nobody likes those, but the Halloween ones, they're pretty cool. Uh, now unless you have Christmas ones, and I apologize for that. The, uh, but they all light up and they're all kind of cool stuff, and then there's a train set to go along with it. So I think that's set up as three different lots. That'll be fun. There's an accordion there, you won't see it. There's a filing cabinet, old filing cabinet. This on the wall up here is new. You can tell that the spines have never really been broken on them. And these are uh, different volumes. This is all about bugs and 
insects and so on. Uh, this part is all about birds and so on, rocks and minerals. And this is Roger Tory Peterson. For, there's 40 volumes in here. And this is the 50th anniversary. You can see you got the gold edges here, gold lettering, leather bound, uh, silk bookmarks. Just a nice, really nice little set. Lots of neat information in there. I'm not sure that you would necessarily want to tear it all apart to read because you'd be, uh, you know, opening it up. But that's really what they're for, right? This is a lot of sterling pieces in here. Some of the sterling flat the flatware that we saw in the other cabinet actually belongs to the stuff down here. Uh, of course, the ice bucket, the champagne bucket is not. Is not sterling, but lots of the pieces are. And I know this is going to be a bit of a longer video because we just have so much stuff to cover. Mid-century modern, there's shelf lots full of stuff. Lots of costume jewelry. Uh, there's some military medals. There's a vintage pair of Ray-Ban uh, aviator glasses inside there with the original Ray-Ban case. I mean, that is just so cool. Uh, you might have seen the little video that our gemologist put on the on the website. Hopefully you had a peek at it. And that specifically talks about this natural, natural set of South Sea pearls appraised at 41,500. Probably a very conservative appraisal at that. And so hopefully you'll you'll take a second look and look at that video. There's some nice sterling pieces here. I'm gonna not touch the jewelry because I've been uh, told that when I start handling it in the video, it doesn't work. But down in here, we've got some loose gemstones, including you know, properly appraised pieces, including this blue diamond here. This is seven point or one point five two carats at seventy four hundred dollars worth. So call it seventy five hundred. And uh, and then this sapphire, a little over six carat at thirteen thousand. Uh, actual proper appraisals on that. Some gorgeous pieces of jewelry here. The Tanzanite necklace is thirteen thousand. The ring is twenty eight hundred. And as you know, if you've bought with us before, we stand behind those appraisals. So so good on us for that. Good on you for buying. Uh, and more in here, there's Burke's uh, Regency plate ring boxes, and there's also one Burke's Sterling uh, ring box in there. Uh, carved cameo shells in there to show how cameos are made. Lots of costume, some of it in smaller lots for quality, some of it in large lots that are a bit, a bit lesser. I don't know if I should use the word lesser, but stuff is a bit more uh, affordable, shall we say. Royal Dalton figurines, character jugs, Swarovski, Armand Marseille doll, Victorian uh, Cranberry Apern. These two books, great pictures by great painters, are, they're called. You get all these great um, plates inside there. More artwork on the back. The list goes on and on. More steam engines. There's three, four, five different lots of steam engines. Look at this tobacco cutter. Like that is just fantastic. Unbelievable piece. The uh, lots of guy stuff. You have to have a look at this one here. Good Bakelite boxes, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Those are teeth, in case you were wondering. I think, I don't know if every single drawer has got teeth in it, but they probably do. Everything, I think every drawer has teeth in it. I think I need to have that, that's all I'm saying. Uh, vintage woodworking planes. Uh, somewhere in here, there's two different Stanley 45s in their original packaging with their original cutters. In, in, there's uh, you know, like in the boxes with them. A whole tray, a lot of miniature sat irons. Maybe a well, small to miniature, shall we say. Um, desk, desk sets there. More mid-century. Walnut here, but teak in other cases, right? Down on this one here, uh, these are... You'll have to take these for what they are. I don't know. Um, somewhere these, these, this whole shackle. This is like this is like serious role playing stuff. This is ankles and bracelets, bracelets, um, and so and they're marked San Quentin. So if that's not like all done up for role playing night. I don't know what it is. And then of course the ball and chain there. More trying tableware, models, cool models. Oil lamps, guy stuff, look at the cool tools. There's a really neat brace inside there, and this is the box of bits that goes along with it. More steam engines. See, I wasn't lying about the steam engines. Visible man. I don't, I, you know, he looks complete. All of his organs seem to be there. I think he's more complete than I am. Scales and mortar and pestles. Uh, musical instruments again. This thing here, look at this little miniature sewing machine. There. And this oven, which would be a toy oven, plugs into 110, gets red hot, 
again, this is this is Darwin's. We had the boy Darwin out there, and this is the girl Darwin. We're gonna weed out. I don't know how many houses got burned down in the 50s and 60s for stuff like that. Here's a cylinder gramophone. We'll see if we can dig up a cylinder uh, between now and the viewing, which is, you know, what, 20 hours from now, uh, so that we can see see how that one works. Toys in boxes. Uh, great piece of cloisonne and bronze antique piece here. I don't know if we have, I think I've been rambling on too much, so we're not going to go down the last aisle. Uh, oh, i got to show you something. I'll just, yeah, I'll just show it to you from there. Three of these wooden uh, bicycle rims. So you got the wooden outer and and uh, and the spokes. Little tiny uh, lubricator opening there. Like and there's three of them. When do you ever see something like that? So talk about fantastic. So recap: Ward's Auctions, 11802, 145th Street, Edmonton. And the viewing time is Friday, literally tomorrow from this from this taping. Uh, Friday, June 10th, 2016, from 4 o'clock till 8 o'clock. The sale is Sunday, June 12th, 11 a.m. we start. Monday, June 13th, uh, 13th 6 p.m. we start. Uh, the office number is 780-451-4549. My cell number is 780-940-8378. It'll be on the, on the YouTube underneath on the uh, notes. Anyhow, see you there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, website has all the the information as far as the upcoming gun sale firearm sale everything's coming together for the summer wardsauctions.com thanks for watching see you tomorrow